lunch. Now, the most important meal of the day. This school in Plymouth has hungry mouths to feed, and it's harder than ever. More free school meals are coming through um, than we had previously, uh, so I guess that's uh, cost of living, it's um, having a big impact on parents. Inflation may be coming down, but food prices are unrelenting. They jumped by another 19% in the year to March. It's enough to put anyone off their food. It's now very difficult to continue to provide the quality and meet all of the school food standards that we're required to meet every single day. We've removed beef from our menus because it's too expensive, so we, we, we've stopped buying from Cornish farms to do that. And we've used more chicken and we use more gammon, but even so, the cost of those products through animal feed affected by the war in Ukraine have increased. His worries have been heard 200 miles away in Westminster, where policymakers are desperately trying to get a grip on the problem. This is a small headline fall, but it disguises a large rise in food inflation. And it shows that there is no such thing as an automatic fall in the headline rate of inflation. That's why we have a plan. And if we're going to reduce that pressure on families, it's absolutely essential that we stick to that plan and we see it through so that we halve inflation this year, as the Prime Minister has promised. But that plan isn't quite working out. The Bank of England is tasked with bringing inflation down and it will now have to turn things up a notch. Just a few days ago, the outlook was brighter, but it's now almost certain that the Bank of England will have to raise interest rates again next month in order to combat inflation. But this medicine comes with pain of its own, and no one knows that better than the millions of homeowners who could see their monthly mortgage payments go up again. So an unpalatable tonic for an unpalatable problem that just won't quite go away. Gurpreet Narwan, Sky News.